Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 17 to September 23rd 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards <clears throat> I want you to acknowledge that uh, this is a, a general reading for the star sign uh, of Aquarius and uh, if you want a personal reading for yourself you can go to my website, which uh, link you are going to find down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, as it is the end of the summer, there is a, a summer end sale going in, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service, making it a total of 40 minutes. So that being said, let me cut the cards and we are going to the tarot spread first, which consists Four cards. The first card is about the topic for you Aquarius for the week. Then we do have the next card which is the core of the situation. The third card it is about the challenges that you Aquarius has to face for the duration of the week and the last one is going to be about the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So uh, let's see what the topic is. We do have the Tree of Swords, not one of the ideal topics. Tree of Swords is a card associated with pain and suffering due to a, either an information or truth that is going to come into your way. But the Tree of Swords is also a card of healing and I will explain you why. So when we do have Tree of Swords, we have to acknowledge uh, our situation in a sense of that just to give you an example here, let's say that you have been betrayed of a friend of yours, all right, and uh, leaning toward the suffering properties of the Tree of Swords is about you living through that moment over and over again, trying to figure out why this person did this to you. You know, this is the suffering properties of the Tree of Swords, or you can go toward the the healing property, acknowledging that this person is basically piece of the and moving on. So it's, it will depend on how agile you are Aquarius to uh, acknowledge truth, to acknowledge a certain situation and just to move on from it. Unfortunately this card could be very extreme. For example it could be um, the acknowledgement of that your your partner have cheated on you, you know, it could be the acknowledgement that your blo that your boss is planning to fire you as well, you know, it could manifest itself in many different ways. But what the card display here is that the swords piercing through the heart causes, you know, a heartache, and as well there is a storm going on here in the card. The swords are a, a symbol of truth, so this is going to be a painful truth, but it is a truth, and you cannot deny it. I mean, there is only one way the truth can be said, because if there is a multiple way one truth can be said, then this is not truth. It's something that people can alter with and no one can alter with truth. So prepare yourself Aquarius this week to find out something which will be rather displeasing and it's not going to be according to your liking but it is something real and uh, it is something that the very least is going to help you detach from certain noxious people, noxious situation, and it will open, you know, a new, uh, it, it will be open basically a, a room in your life to attract and to replace that noxious thing, either career, either relationship, either a person, etc, etc, with more productive way, ways to fulfill your time. And the core of the situation or why this is happening here, we do have the Five of Swords. So uh, this card, uh, very peculiar here, uh, it could manifest in many ways, but it does speak for cruelty in general. So uh, what I'm leaning toward and what that truth is going to be, it will be, a, it will be served in a very cruel way. And uh, I don't think that it has something to do with uh, being cheated on 
or in generally uh, being planned to be suspended but it most likely this is going to be a cruel behavior from people that you have counted very close to yourself just for example your very good friend a very good friend of yours is insulting you you know and they are saying that you are worth and stand for nothing you know or it could these things could come as well from your family or from your very partner into your relationship what i'm trying to say here guys is that you have to be very strong because these three car these couple of cards excuse me not three but couple of cards are speaking that you, everybody has a weakness you know and you do as well have a weakness and some people that are very close to you will try to exploit that weakness and this weakness most likely lies on uh, your um, in your kindness or your favoritism that you have gave to them and they are going to take advantage of that so don't get surprised if you find out that hey as i said a very good friend of yours is speaking behind your back or straight away in your face trying to make you look bad in front of audience or in front of in general very important person other person that you depend on and the challenges that you have to overcome on top of that is the ten of wands so totally different subject here you will uh because this card this this card is pointing that you are gonna aim at a grand achievement you are gonna be very busy so let me give you an, an example here so you are trying to finalize a very important project in your career which project is going to give you a prerequisite to ask for a promotion or to ask for a raise and then that this happened a co-worker of yours someone that you have worked closely they actually insult you or they're trying to diminish the result of your of your job in the face of your uh, of your supervisor or your boss in generally they are trying to sabotage your work and not that they will be able to all right but you're going to realize that you have to basically detach from a so so much thought faithful companion in your career it's because it does turn out that they are very slinky people who are trying to raise themselves in the ladder of the hierarchy on your expenses and now it's time for you to cut ties with those people same thing could go into your relationship life for example you all have a suitor that you are chasing all right and you are realizing in this week that a very good friend of yours is trying to take advantage of your kindness and they chase the very same person all right and they're trying to make you look bad in front of them by talking behind your back so it's very important here for you to keep your uh, enemy close and your friends even closer i am intentionally saying it vice versa because it does look like that you are going to find that you do have a fearsome enemy among your very best friends and the um the guidance here we do have the knight of pentacles very important for you is to keep the things simple with your plans with your uh, performance and with your deeds in general because the more sophisticated your execution is the more opportunities this person here will have to hide their intentions and to hide their uh, their maneuvers as well if you keep your approach simple if you keep your maneuvers simple and in general uh, you know <clears throat> you act very uh, sincerely and uh, you do exert clamor behind your actions you know these people will have no opportunity to act surreptitiously unless they expose themselves and this is exactly the way how you expose these people and despite of how much damage they are going to do to your ego because for what it seems this is going to be only a damage upon your ego it's not going to this situation ain't going to damage your uh, general approach and your general general chase uh, of that significant goal of your life despite that for what it seems you are not going to lose your self-respect here 
and your determination on top of that so uh, the king uh, the knight of pentacles suggests you that the more poignant that experience is that you will have with that close person of your behalf the more tenacious you become to finalize the goal that you are after displayed here with the with the ten of wands which is going to keep you occupied and for some reason ignorant to the um to the sneaky intentions of that close person until those sneaky intentions become something that cannot be neglected any longer. So uh, this was the tarot reading for you Aquarius and now let's see what the Lenormand reading has to say for you. This day the Lenormand reading will show event happening that you either should look forward to or try to avoid. We do have the birds, which speaks for social media, or stands, excuse me, for social media. Negotiations, phone calls, chattering, gossips. Then we do have the uh, the star, which is guidance. The star stands for guidance, finding a way. And then is the home, which stands for a home or for a state. So that could be a phone call, find how to find a way to establish a state or a home. So that could be a phone call from a bank, you know, stating what kind of criteria they require to lend you a mortgage. And these criteria will be something that you can very well meet. Or it could be a phone call from your home, which presents you with a way how you can achieve a certain goal of yours. You know, in generally, or it could be as well a gossip, which comes from your domain, which uh, gives you an opportunity or open you a door, you know, to achieve a, a grand thing. In generally, it's going to be a very positive event from your behalf that will... Um, how can I place it? It's going to allow you to expand your personal domain and your personal environment. And it has nothing to do with this person here that will try to diminish your job because uh, the result of your job because no matter how much they try, they will not be able to. It is just that you are going to feel this uh, poignant, excuse me, uh, about it because you haven't expected that this person is going to try such a surreptitious action. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly uh, Tarot and Lenormand reading for the time period of September 17th to September 23rd. And again, remember, this is your general reading for your star sign. It is not your personal reading. And for personal readings, you can go to my website, um, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. That being said, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.